Hi everyone, in this video, let's have a look at the co-scholastic settings in CC examination. Let's go to the academics and let's choose examination module. Under the settings, let's go for the CC settings. We've discussed about the basic settings in our previous video. Let's go for the co-scholastic settings. Under co-scholastic settings, the first thing that you find here is called co-scholastic remark settings. Here, we're gonna choose one among this formula. The first one is to choose from the remark set. We're gonna choose from the custom remarks for each of these observation groups while we enter the scores. And the next one that we have is the auto-populate of the remarks, where it would auto-populate the remark from the list of descriptive indicators in the observation. You can choose either of these settings and save it. And once these remark settings are created, you're going to go to the co-scholastic items. We're going to create co-scholastic items. We're going for co-scholastic items and selecting the option new. We will create every time the observation groups that we want to create. So as you can see, I've created an observation group called Thinking Skills. I'm giving the title Thinking Skills and I'm providing a description about it. As you can see here, the CC grade set that I've already created in the basic settings available in the drop down. In case if my institution has more than one co-scholastic grade set, then you can choose from one among them. As of now, I have only one grade set, so you can choose that and you can select the assessment type to be one of these. Once these assessment types are selected, we're gonna list the number of descriptive indicator count to be visible in the reports. So as you can see, these observation groups will have a lot of descriptive indicators and each of these descriptive indicators will have scores. Now we need to look above which descriptive indicator needs to be visible in the report. So we are gonna display the descriptive indicators in the report and in case if you're looking for two descriptive indicators or more we need to mention the count here and once these observation groups are created you can select these observation groups and create observations inside these you can list as many observations that you want to create by providing a title and a description and once these observation groups are created the last thing that we will do in this workflow is to create descriptive indicators and remarks here is where we create the new indicators that we have for these observation groups we'll create new indicators and we're going to mention the name of these descriptive indicators and once we have created this we are going to add remarks by going for add remarks and by adding remarks you're going to mention the different remarks that you want to give. This is one of the remarks. This way we can add different remarks that we want to provide for these co-scholastic grades. This is all about co-scholastic items. And once these co-scholastic items are created, the next step would be to assign these co-scholastic items. As you can see, I'm going to select a class. And for this class, I'll decide the co-scholastic items that needs to be assigned. The observation groups that you create in the previous setting will be displayed here and you can choose the one that you want to assign and save it. The last setting that we have here is an observation code setting. The observation code settings will allow you to provide a code for your observation groups. As I can select the class, I can see the different observation that you find under your CC report. And each of these observations can have a code like a subject code. So as you can see for one of my observation, I've given a code here and this code will be provided in our CBSE report. Now, once you can save these code, the observation are represented with the codes in the report. So this is all about co-scholastic setting. Thanks for looking to this video.